What is up, everyone? How is everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. Uh, today, we're going to crack open another Dominaria Remastered Collector Booster Box, uh, a set I am very high on. The opening experience for me has been really, really pleasant so far. I really enjoy a lot of the cards they put in here. Um, I have a few cards that I'm hoping I, to, to pull today, a few cards just on my wish list. So, um, yeah, not much to say today. Today, we're just going to crack some packs, enjoy the experience. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and dive on in and let's crack some packs. So again, not really going to talk pricing today. Today is uh, really just about the uh, experience of opening uh, another one of these collector booster boxes. I've, I've opened um, a couple so far and just, uh, you know, it's just a lot of fun. I, I think the treatments on and the art on a lot of these cards is pretty awesome. And if I'm being honest, there's a few chase cards that I'm still trying to chase down, namely uh, Sylvan Library and of course the ever elusive force of will. So we'll see if we can't land one or more of those today. But there's a lot of just fun stuff in here in general. Um, I am very high on this set because for me, it is like a treasure trove of cards that I don't already own. I didn't have, you know, very, I didn't really have any of the tutors. I didn't really have a lot of like these cards that are big commander playable cards. So um, I'm just on the hunt for more of those. We're going to start off with a pack one mythic and it is a test of endurance. Borderless foil test of endurance. Uh, yeah, it's cool looking. I'm not sure that that's the mythic we really wanted to see in that slot, but you know what? That's cool. Not not bad. It is a pack one uh, borderless foil mythic, so you know, not going to be too upset about it. Hey, there we go. There is a borderless uh, worldly tutor for though uh, for us though, and that I will take. Very nice second uh, second hit of the pack for us. Again, beautiful border borderless worldly tutor. We've got a retro frame Triskelion. I feel like I can't go a box without opening one or more of those. And then a stroke of genius as our pack foil. So we'll throw that up there. Followed by a, a Mog War Marshal in the retro frame uh, foil. Undead Gladiator. Mind Stone. Our nice little uh, retro island there. Retro foil island. Then we've got some Fire and Ice. Quicksilver Dagger. Twisted Experiment, Remedy, Juggernaut, Emerald Char of Charms, and Evil Eye of Orms by Gore. So a pretty a pretty decent pack one. Again, Borderless Foil Mythic, and of course the Worldly Tutor I am very excited about. Would love to see a Vamp Tutor in here. Um, what else am I trying to chase down? I would not mind some more uh, Gemstone Mines as well, just as far as the rares are concerned. Alright, here we go. Pack number two. It is a Retro Frame Glory. Uh, probably not what we're hoping to see, but you know, that's okay. I think I pulled a couple of these already. That's why I've, I'm less excited about that. Oversold Cemetery as a, uh, another borderless card. Okay. Uh, not quite as good as the worldly tutor hit, but you know, it's okay. It's an oversold cemetery borderless. Nonetheless, behind that we have, there we go. That is a card I am excited about. So we have a sweet, sweet retro frame and tomb. I will definitely take that. Uh, I will take as many of these as I can get my hands on. And we'll finish with a pack foil hinterland harbor. Nice little check land there. Um, we'll throw that up there. You know what? What am I doing here? I'm going to, I'm going to make a few more piles because you know, can't have enough piles. There we go. Uh, I will put my entomb. I'm not, I don't care about the Triskelion. I'll put that down here. I will put my entomb up there and throw lands right here. I'm gonna get this together, here we go. Cool, cool, there we go. So we've got our icy, nice little retro frame icy. Actually, that does look pretty good, not gonna lie. All right, renewed faith, factor fiction, and then we've got our, got our planes after that. Floodgate, Lancer, Gargoyle, Scrounger, Avrax. Okay, cool, not bad. So that was pack two. So far, we have a couple of sweet hits. Again, the Entomb and the Worldly Tutor. Not bummed about that. I have yet to hit a Force of Will out of Collector Packs. So, again, still high on my wish list. I understand they are. That is the hit. I do not believe this product is Force of Will or Bust. I think that's the wrong way of viewing things. But we, what is this? Arborea. All right. Borderless Foil Arborea. Uh, I was hoping I saw green there. And, of course, it was looking for Mythic. So, you know, I knew it wasn't... Uh, I, I knew it wasn't a Sylvan Library, but you know what? That's a that's still a fun hit. That's not bad. We'll take that. I will take, after that, though, a Borderless Enlightened Tutor. So that is our second Borderless Tutor of the box. Uh, Enlightened Tutor, wonderful hit. Super high on that card as well. Love to get more copies of that. So that I am I'm quite okay with. 
And then uh, the one thing about these boxes is that they have a fair amount of duplication in them. And it's just kind of a matter of like what is getting duplicated. Um, in this case, it sounds like we're going to get a couple of, we're going we're gonna to end up with a play set of Hinterland Har Har Harbors is what it sounds like. So we'll throw that down there. And then a Rift the Awakener in a uh, pack foil. And uh, followed by, again, that, that retro frame foiling looks great. Got ourselves a lull. Frantic search. Our nice little forest there. Oh, Swords of Plowshares, that's a decent uncommon. Deadpool, Solar Blast, Werebear, Ornithopter, Lull, and Goblin Matron to finish it off. Um, I really should decide on what I'm going to do with these uh, with these piles. Just put, there we go. You know what, I'm just gonna put stuff up at the top that I like. That's how, that's how we're gonna do it. Everything else can go at the bottom. All right, pack number four of the first column. Here we go, Gobbo. Denizen of the Deep. I have pulled that card a bunch. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I, that's that's what it boils down to. I pulled this card a bunch. I would like to stop seeing that card. All right, behind that though, a Chainer Dementia Master as a Borderless. Eh, okay, that's it's it's okay. It's fine. Mind Slicer behind that in the retro frame. Cool. Windborn New Muse in the pack foil. After that, okie dokie. Nice little white main lion in that retro frame foiling. Dark Withering, Chain Lightning. Got a Swamp after that, Thran Golem, Gerard's Verdict, Smoldering Crater, Our Desire, Seer, Empty the Warrens to finish us off. So um, that was not that was not a great pack. There was nothing in that pack that, if I'm being honest, that I was super, super hyped about. Although we are still only at one Mythic now, heading into pack five. And these boxes, I've seen these boxes produce 10 plus Mythics. So it's giving me hope that we're gonna, we're gonna start uh, really lighting Lighting things up here. Not this time though. That is a Triskelion. Oh no! No more Triskelions. I'm done with the Triskelions. All right, borderless foil Triskelion. Um, yeah, that's it's it's okay. But Yogmoth, there we go. Snoop Yog, uh, a borderless Yogmoth Thran physician. That is a hit. I am excited about. Thank you, Yogmoth, for showing up. Definitely excited about that. Uh, another mythic that we needed. Huge. And a retro frame gemstone mine behind that. I actually do like that as well. So I'm gonna throw that up top. It's not quite in tune, but it's very cool. And then a uh, pack foil maze of ith behind that. Pulled a few of those. Undead gladiator in that retro frame. Uh, that black retro frame looks really, really good with the foiling. And then duress. Icy manipulator again. Our sweet, sweet forest. And then we head into our normal uncommons and commons. So Yawgmoth was a really, really nice pull for us. Uh, that I am pretty excited about. All right, so last <clears throat> last pack of the first column. Uh, so far, uh, we'll, we'll recap the first column here after this. All right, we have a rare. Oh, ooh, hey, that's really, uh, you know what? That's really pretty. Like that is a really good looking card. So we have ourselves a borderless foil birds of paradise. Really, really beautiful. That looks that looks really awesome. I'm genuinely excited about that. So I'm gonna slide that over right there. We got ourselves a borderless Wrath of God after that. I do really dig the artwork on the Wrath of God. That's cool. And another Chainer Nightmare Adept. Again, there's the duplication. It's just a matter of what you're gonna get, end up getting duplicated. And we'll finish off with a Grim Lava Mancer as far as kind of like the money cards are concerned. Although I do really like that uh, that borderless Flame Tongue Kabu. That's actually a really Really, really good looking art right there. And then a Borderless Chainer's Edict after that. Momentary Blink, it's interesting. Those weren't retro frame cards. Uh, those Borderless cards, usually there's like retro frame cards there. So we've got our Island after that. Really, really nice retro frame Island. Wall of Junk, Fate Shaper, Symbiotic Beast, Primarch, Phantom Flock, Hermetic Study, and Cackling Fiend. All right, that concludes the first half of the box. A pretty, pretty solid bo uh, first half. Again, Yawgmoth is good. F foil borderless birds, awesome. And a couple of tutors to go with an entomb. Uh, you could certainly do a whole lot worse. Pretty happy with that first half. Let's let's see if we can get uh, just as much momentum in the second half. All right, here we go. Start off with a uh, Helm of Awakening. No, 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 no. That is not what we want to see from that slot there. Uh, fine card, just not what you're hoping to see there. But we do have a myth behind that, and it is Hunting Grounds. All right, so we have ourselves a borderless Hunting Grounds. It is a mythic. That is uh, not one of your top-end mythics that you're hoping to see. So that's 
Um, you know, we, we want to do a little better there. It's a good card. I, I intend to put it in a, a deck or two, but not what I was hoping to see there. We've got Rift the Awakener after that in the retro frame. And then, of course, our third chainer of the box. Now we have the borderless, we have the retro frame, and we have a pack flow version. Uh, hopefully we don't complete the playset there. Rog, Mog War Marshal after that. And then Quicksilver Dagger as a retro frame. Momentary Blink yet again. Really nice force. Although this is like the third or fourth time I've pulled that specific forest and not the alternate, the other art version. Thrangolm again. Dark Withering. Wretched Anurid. Uh, Moraine. Radiance Judgment. Hermetic Study. And another Chain Lightning, which aren't bad. All right. So we are up to three Mythics. Um, but we have not exactly crushed it in that column either. All right, here we go. Let's see something good. We go. That's a hit right there. Borderless foil vampiric tutor. Let's freaking go. That is the exact type of hit we're looking for there. That makes me feel so much better. Immediately getting slotted into my personal collection. I will be hanging on to this card. I, I love the Richard Kane Ferguson art on here. I like that he what he did with the tutors. I all think they I look I think they all look really good. I'll be hanging on to this. I am very, very excited about the Vamp Tutor. Beautiful hit and exactly what we want to see there. All right, we got ourselves a Borderless Windborn Muse after that. And then another Enlightened Tutor. Okay, well, that is the sort of duplication I'm looking to see. <laughs> Those are the droids we're looking for. Uh, Enlightened Tutor in the retro frame. Very nice. And then what is that? Time Stretch. All right. All right. I can deal with that. We have ourselves a Pack Foil Time Stretch uh, to sort of round out that pack. That was a monster pack for us with the Borderless Foil Vamp Tutor, Enlightened Tutor, and uh, and a time stretch. That's that's a huge pack. That's what I'm talking about. Now this box is back. All right, we got our planes. Then we're gonna hit some uncommons and some commons behind that. What a nice pack that was. Had to have it. Beautiful vamp tutor hit. That's what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Looks like we got uh, four packs left. And now I'm feeling much better about this box with a couple of Enlightened Tutors, Worldly Tutor, and Tomb, and that, of course, that Vamp Tutor. Any other juice left in here? All right, whoa! Yeah, let's go Retro Frame Foil No Mercy. That's what I'm talking about. Another really, really nice Mythic pull. We'll take that. Very nice No Mercy there. Uh, I love the art on it, and of course, I love that Retro Frame. The Black Border Retro Frames look so good. And then a borderless entomb after that. Yes! Keep this train rolling. Keep this train rolling. Here we go. Entomb. Borderless entomb. Uh, beautiful card. Very excited to have that. I'll be hanging on to that as well. And then a and then a retro frame sneak attack after that. Let's keep the mythic train moving. Very, very nice. Uh, excited. Love the retro frame on sneak attack. I just to me it's like kind of like iconic. Um, so that's a, again another monster and an exploration, a pack foil exploration after that. Holy moly with this box. This box has gone from, from dud to stud. We've got a Thran Golem after that, White Mane Lion, Wild Growth, and Mountain, and uh, of course some really, really nice uncommons and commons. So this box took a pretty wild turn, right? It was kind of, it was pretty mid, right? It was, it was pretty mid, and now this box all of a sudden is looking rather high end. So three packs left. Um, you know, I certainly hope that we have some decent pulls in the last three packs, but even looking at what we have now, I got to feel pretty good about things. I have to feel pretty good about things. All right, so three packs left, though. Let's not stop here. Here we go. We have a rare. It is a Siege Game Commander. Yeah, okay, that's, uh, that's, that's not what we're looking for. That's not the droid we're looking for. All right, so Siege Game Commander and the Borderless Foil. After that, whoa, what? That's our second Borderless Wrath of God in the box. In this box, that's that's a little strange. At least usually when you're seeing the duplication, you're seeing them in different variants. So it's very unusual to see a duplication in the exact same variant style as well. Like Borderless non-foil. Weird. All right, after that, Worldly Tutor again, though. Let's see that. Uh, retro Frame Worldly Tutor. Uh, yep, not upset about that. Not upset even a little bit, and we're going to end with a Lotus Blossom. That's actually a decent little pack foil. Lotus Blossom's cool. Kind of underplayed, right? Uh, and Goblin Matrix behind that. Mesa Enchantress. I want to have to I'm going to have to learn how to say this card's name. O Ovenize? Ovenize? <laughs> hey, there we go. There's a John Avon Force. That is the Force that's looking. Nice foil uh, retro frame John Avon art there. And then Spectral Lynx, Faceless Butcher, 
and uh, a few decent uncommons and commons after that. All right, we got two packs left. We are uh, at double Enlightened Tutor. We're at double Worldly Tutor. We're at double Entomb. We've got an Exploration. We've got a Vamp Tutor. Uh, sneak Attack, No Mercy. This is a pretty solid box. All right, any, any juice left? Absorb. Borderless Foil Absorb. Uh, this is not going to set the world on fire value-wise when, when these really settle, but it's still a really nice looking card. The, the foiling, I can't really describe it. It looks really good. Just the coloring on it looks really solid. So that's not that's not terrible. <laughs> well, good because I gave it because uh, now you get two. So uh, the 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 rare is so nice we pulled it twice. It is absorb borderless foil and then regular bor regular borderless uh, borderless on top of that. Uh, okay, crawl space after that. That's actually a decent retro frame. I kind of dig that. And then we have a mythic. It is whoa pack foil dark depths. This is actually the first dark depths I pulled from uh, from Dominaria remastered. So. Um, I'm actually pretty pretty happy with that. That's kind of a cool pull. We'll throw that up top. Uh, Spirit Link. Spirit Link. Nature's Lore. Never upset about seeing those nice retro frame Nature's Lores. Good old Mountain. And then we have some really nice Uncommons and Commons. Aqua Amoeba. I know who's going to throw this. Uh, somebody's going to end up chucking that, right? All right, so now what does this put us up to? The Birds of Paradise is not a... Mythic, but what is we at? Eight Mythics after that, plus a just a breakfast bar of deliciousness with our other sweet rares. So, all right, here we go. Last pack. Any left? Any juice left? <laughs> yeah, dang. It. Okay, well now triple absorb. Uh, kind of saw that coming. That's not exactly where we wanted to be. So, eh. But I will take a borderless Birds of Paradise. That is the du duplication I'm okay with. We're cool with that. All right, so borderless birds of paradise. Anything else left? Uh, we've got the bee lady. Okay, not whatever. Nothing right home about there. And we're gonna finish off with a nice little pack foil mind slicer. As far as our juice pulls are concerned, actually border or a, a retro frame high tide is uh, retro frame foil high tide. That's actually a pretty sweet pull. It's gonna be a few bucks. Uh, Mog war marshal, ornithopter, swamp, swamp. And then some sweet uncommons and commons behind that. Okay, so all in all, this box had kind of a rocky start. I was a little bit worried with that test of endurance, but ending up with the borderless foil vamp tutor, a yog moth, a retro frame sneak attack, um, dark depths is cool. The retro frame no mercy is excellent. And then just looking at our borderless cards again, worldly tutor, enlightened tutor, entomb to go with retro frame, worldly tutor, enlightened tutor, and entomb. Um, this box ends up being pretty, pretty decent, right? Pretty, I would say, minus the force of will, the lack of the force of will, pretty high end otherwise. So I am very happy with this. That's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit that like button for me. And uh, by all means, drop me some comments. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, everyone, and be well.